Hello and welcome to weatherlink.com. Today we will be showing you the charting feature on weatherlink.com. And we have a particular graph up here already. Now once you log into weatherlink.com, uh, if you select a particular station that you have a pro tier status uh, uh, for, uh, you have access to your historical data records as well as the ability to chart them. Uh, on this graph here, we're plotting a number of variables. You can see on the right side um, which variables I have checked and I'm plotting. This is where you can select what you're going to see. Uh, if you don't see this menu, um, click on the hamburger menu in the top right and that will bring it up. Um, and then you can select uh, the variables you choose. I actually have quite a few here, um, a, lot, uh, a lot going on the graph. I'm going to go ahead and click the clear all. Uh, to get rid of them and I'm just going to only select temperature. After I select it I'll click update and now I have uh, just the temperature on here. You can also select the uh, uh, time span for the graph up here in the top left. Uh, you can choose the start date, you can choose the length of the graph, the x-axis span. Uh, I've got it set to just 12 hours here. And if you're anything uh, below uh, one day, you will get a start time uh, to select for the, for the graph. We can also change the color of the graph as well as the uh, axes. Uh, to change the color, you would click on the variable up here and choose a new color. I prefer my temperature uh, to be red. Uh, you can also, uh, besides changing colors, to find whether this variable is going to be a line graph or a bar graph and whether you want to uh, hide it temporarily or not. Once you've made your changes, you'll click update and now my temperature is red. And these changes persist, so every time you come back to the chart page, the colors you prefer will, will still be there and they'll, they'll save and uh, be that until you change them. Uh, if you click the gear uh, in the top right, you have the ability to scale the y-axis a bit. Um, if I wanted this to go up to 100 and down to minus 10, I can do that. Uh, I can clear them and go back to the way it was before. Um, and I also have the ability to set the axes on the left or the right side of the graph. So in this particular case, it's on the right. I can click left, apply changes, and now the y-axis legend is on the left side. Uh, you notice here that as I hover over um, particular parts of the line it will show me the uh, actual value uh, of that. Uh, we can see here the temperature is 83. A um, little warm at 2 a.m. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll come to that later. And it'll also show you the station uh, uh, that this data is coming from. So this is a a weather station named North Caribbean Hurricanes Monitor and this temperature data is coming from a Vantage Pro 2 Plus sensor suite. Okay. This particular station is pretty interesting. Uh, this is a weather station mounted on a bluff on the north side of St. Bart's and it was uh, directly in the path of Hurricane uh, Irma uh, back in September of 2017. Uh, that's why I've selected this station and the time span up there uh, at the top. This is the, the time of the hurricane. So let's do this. Let's take the temperature off the graph and let's add barometer and rainfall. And we'll click update. And, and we can see here the hurricane uh, approaching. We can see the barometer severely dropping as the eye of the hurricane goes right over the station. And we can see that um, all of the rainfall was prior to the eye. So as the hurricane was coming on shore, I dropped some rain, then we hit the eye wall, and we didn't record uh, much rain after that. Uh, the station also experienced some very high winds. Let's add the high wind speed on here as well. And we can see uh, on this red line, the high wind speed. And as I hover over it, I can see that earlier in the morning it was uh, 58 miles an hour. Rain is starting to fall. We're getting very high wind speed. This is 118 miles an hour. Um, we hit the peak 
here at 6 a.m. It was 199 miles an hour. This is actually the highest recorded wind speed on a personal weather station uh, on Weather Underground. Set a, set a record. Then the eye approaches, wind speed dies down quite a bit, and then on the back side of the storm, uh, wind speed jumps up. But at this moment here is actually when we um, lost uh, uh, the weather station. Uh, you still see a, uh, a green line for barometer because that's in the, inside the console indoors. Uh, but the weather station outside on the bluff uh, blew over and down the bluff uh, at this moment in time at, at, at 8 a.m. When the, when the high wind speeds resumed. And that is, uh, that is the charting feature. There's a, it's very powerful. There's a lot you can do. And it's uh, very informative to plot a number of variables at the same time and see how they behave with each other uh, uh, over time. Okay, thank you. And uh, we'll see you again.